Oh, man. Okay. Hi, guys. Um, okay, at this point, I've taken off the, uh, the pump for a second. Brand new pump. I decided to use my uh, existing uh, pickup for the simple fact that it's um, it's much longer and it actually feeds from the bottom of the oil pan, not just the, the very top shallow end, but the deeper end, which I think in my mind is better than than just de feeding from the shallow end. Because if you it seems like if you in my mind if if you were low on oil somehow for some reason. The shallow end is going to be, of course, the shallow end is going to be uh, uh, is going to be depleted before the the, the deeper end. So um, I went with the the, the old pump. Uh, I was I cleaned it, and uh, it seems to be good. Anyway, so uh, got my uh, got the shaft here. I got the uh, pump drive shaft, and and the uh, the pump is is just sitting in some oil. The the pickup's just sitting in a bucket of oil here. Okay, so, and all we're looking for is to get it to the top here and coming out the top just to lubricate everything. So we go counterclockwise, looking from where the oil will come out. So the the uh, this the spout here. So we're going to go counterclockwise. Okay, and okay, and there we go. Okay, so it's actually coming out the. Go. Okay, we got that properly lubricated. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and... Okay. So, I got my gasket aligned here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on with the shaft on this time. Got a little bit of oil still out. I just lost my gasket down in the inside. I forgot to turn you on. Um, okay, so I put on the, um, put the shaft in. A um, little tricky. Uh, the gasket here is uh, uh, could block has could block if, if you don't have it in the right spot. Could block the hole where the oil is going to go pump through the block here. So. Uh, you gotta, you gotta be able to hold the gasket in place while you're setting this down, and then and then of course make sure that the uh, drive shaft doesn't come out. Make sure you have the drive shaft. Make sure that the oil pump shaft doesn't come out. And once you got it in there, it'll hold it. It's not gonna come out. So we're good there. So I just use the two the two bolts to hold the gasket in place, and then uh, just made sure the gasket was aligned and fit the bolts through the pump and through the gasket and that held it in place. So okay. 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 So we got that on, bolt. Oh man. Okay. So we got to do here. We got it.
Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this down. This guy down. Okay, and the last thing we're gonna do, put uh, the oil pickup uh, bolt uh, bracket. So that's the next thing. I don't oil pump pickup 25 25 here and then 20 on the deal oh. yeah that could be bad if that were to come off oil pickup tube to pump bolts those should be 12 to 18 Are set to 18. The uh, bolts for the uh, pickup for the oil pickup to the oil pump. Okay, so the next one you gotta do is the oil pump to block bolts. Those should be between 22 and 32, which is just I have to guess the main here. Maybe a, yeah. Uh, just there's no room. He's got a guesstimate on that one. All right, that's good. That's not going anywhere. Okay, so 32 on this one. And the last one is the pickup tube to the main cap bolt, which is this guy right here. Go to 32 because it's okay. 32. All right. So okay. So we got this. Uh, this is lined for sure. This is aligned properly. We set these both to 18 pounds. There's thread locker on the on these bolts right here the uh, pickup to the pump put thread locker on this one uh, and just ARP uh, assembly uh, paste for these um, ultra torque I should call it ultra choke for, for fasteners not 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 assembly anyway so bolt and these are bolted to what I think is about 32 uh, no way for me to check this but it's pretty tight considering how much leverage I had Okay, so we're done with that.